Hey, hey, it's me. It's I. Did you say it's me or it's I? It seems like if you were born before the the, uh, the the 20th century, you should say, it is I. It is I and it is also me. My name is Eric. I'm making a game. That game is called The God Killer. The God Killer. All right, let me demo. Recent progress. I always like to start the stream with a demo of re recent progress. Not, not stuff I did five weeks ago. Stuff I did probably yesterday. By the way, I work on this every day. Every single day. Every damn day. And uh, I've got a day job that pays the bills. And I spend... I figured it out. I spend the equal amount of time working on my game as my day job. So uh, I essentially have two jobs. One that pays the bills and one that expresses who I am. Eh, the day job isn't so bad, though. The day job, to some extent, expresses who I am as well. All right. So here is a new level that I have created last night. And immediately, immediately I see a bug in it. Oh. How? How did this sneak in? Oh, bothersome. Okay. So I will fix that even in this session. But to begin with, uh, let's see. So this middle area here. Can move these guys around, uh, but don't don't push too far. You'll go on the spikes. So each one of these has got a limited amount of freedom because of the spikes. For how you can push it. And uh, what are we doing? What are we doing on this level? We want to get to the level exit. As with all levels, here's the level exit. Would seem it's pretty easy to get to, but uh, it's probably going to need us to spell O X O X. Not to be confused with X O X O, which would not close the letter gate. By closing the letter gate, I mean that if I spell this word with the blocks, uh, these are blocks over here. This letter gate will become opaque, will close, it will allow me to fling across the platform. Instead of going over the side, I'll get caught by the closed letter gate. But for that to happen, we gotta spell OXOX. -X. So I will do that now. It might be non-trivial. Ninja! <laughs> yeah, hey, now that you're here, I, I, I definitely want to show you something. Uh, uh, I, I did LOD, uh, just like you showed me. It works great. Um, I'll demo it if you, if you feel like sticking around for five minutes or so. But, uh, yeah, good to see you. Okay, so let me see. I got these axles now. The trick is to uh, not worry too much about dying on this level. Because you have to die many, many times. One letter. Uh, let's see. How's stuff been going for you?
Yeah, that's cool. Ah, oh, jeez. You got uh, some kind of holiday break coming up? Sounds like a, a nice amount of intense programming all at one time. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm trying to get all my shit in order at the day job before it starts. Uh, Alright. So that is a solution. I've closed the letter gate. So let's me come up to here. So I've started a, a policy that while I'm doing the demo portion of the stream, I won't go after um, the bonus, the bonus challenges. I'll leave that for later. So if there's someone who's who's really interested in the game and wants to follow along uh, with status updates but not be cheated out or everything, uh, there's the bonus challenges that are still remaining for you. All right, so let me fix this one thing. I, I missed. Uh, da, da. I missed this thing here. It's supposed to be two high instead of one high. Because one high is not going to cut it. You just walk, walk right up, and yeah. So let me fix that. Might be a bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest. Uh, is this all monolithic? Okay. <laughs> that would actually do it. That would do it. I, w I would regard that as acceptable, but not ideal. You are technically correct. I'm impressed. That would resolve it. Um, and you know that, that one solution you came up for, the um, level was called Spiral of Despair, and you and I kind of looked at that for a while, and you, you came up with a drawing. <laughs> um. So, so that that end up working fine. Um, the the uh, the play testers or uh, play crafters, as I've taken to calling them now, um, they were both a little confused by it. I'll say that, like somehow, it made them um, it slowed them down a bit. I think it was fine. I was a little worried. That a less advanced player than those two guys would uh, get choked up on it. DZ! Good to see you! Alright, let me see. Will this fix it? Or will it make something else worse? Oh, God. Uh, let's see. So, let's just extrude the part I need to raise, not the whole thing. I suspect that fixes it. Oh, but then there's this stupid difference in... Uh, okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now I don't know if it's the same person. Now I don't know. Could be an imposter. Da -da -da -da. 
Yeah, let's do a check. Let's do a check. What is the what is the uh, the the German town? That's not the one you live in, but it's nearby where you live. I'm not gonna get fooled by an imposter. What's the name of the fox you've been raising? <laughs> all right, all right, I'll accept that. Well, let's see. So, my one issue is is the the texture's wrong. But I can fix that. I'll just bring that down. Oh, duh, why am I missing this? doing pro builder is really slow <sighs> all that okay never mind uh, let's just do a revert on the scene called Quadrax. Don't save. All right. Should have done this in the first place. It's much, much easier. Okay, let me take a floor, drag it in. wall, tile, floor, B. Let's see. Okay, I, I want to show the LOD to, to Ninja. Let's go do... Hmm. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, what's a good one to show it on? Uh, oh, the, the, oh yeah, Precipitalis. So the LOD, I came back to it because this level I'd made started running at 20 frames per second. And then I put LOD on certain things and all of a sudden it went up to 40 frames. So it literally doubled the frame rate for me. Um, the, the two objects that uh, I did it for was the grass. So you can see it's, you can see the blades there, but if I go up a little bit, they start disappearing a little further, then they're all gone. Um, and it's just texture. But I come back in and the, the grass blades appear again. Uh, the, the other one was the grates. Grates, I actually did like uh, three different LODs. There's one where they kind of look I don't I'm not 100% liking it because uh, it changes over there's calling too there's calling too um, the nature of the game is that I really don't want to call things until they're they're really far away because part of the appeal is that you can see things that are far away like those spikes down there and stuff like that um, but there's no doubt that it's helpful, the, the LOD. It's, it's really the difference between this level sucking or it being fun to play. Um, but yeah, and then so if I go into, uh, let's see, what is it? If we go into grass, we've got you know, this, this sort of tile, auto tiling object, and then it pulls in individual uh, tiles. And each tile has got uh, LOD for the grass blades, which are the only thing I really need to change on this. And then it's, it was just like you described, actually, Ninja. It's like a, it, you, you set up the LOD group, and then you drag in the stuff that you want to be involved in each LOD group. And then you pull this left and right, you know, and uh, in my case, I'm culling not the whole object, but just the grass blades when I get this 15% mark. Um, so yeah, and then um, you, you can see it. That and the grates, I've, I've got like, a, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's a really good technique. It's got great effort to reward ratio. Uh, so this one I've got the three LOD groups and, and a cold for the whole object. So if it's up here, then I'll show like this, this under part. Um, so I get further away. I kind of cut off this under part and then when it gets really far away, I'm, it's almost two dimensional at this point. I'm just showing the very top of it and it's like down to maybe like 20 polys or something like that. So yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm a believer in LOD at this point. All right. Easy to use, big benefits. So I was working on a concept for a new level. Yeah, yeah, it's good, good stuff. I was playing with this idea, and I think it's failing. It's not a good idea, or it's like an incomplete idea. It's just that these these dudes would be at their their stations and kind of like throw blocks at you.
Okay, very cool. So, I think the idea that I'm trying to get to is enemies that just chuck blocks at you. That's, that's their whole thing. Um, and I contrived the level to make the, the built-in behavior of the beards produce that. Um, but I just don't think, I don't think it's working very well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna scrap that. Um, the, the problem is there's so many edge cases, so many edge cases with these guys. Uh, I am thinking though, I might add a new enemy type because I have most of the AI for just making an enemy that all they do is they go and they push blocks. They just push, push blocks. Actually, I, I wrote that AI already. All I have to do now is modify that AI to make them push in the direction of the player and then I basically have a new type of enemy and um, I think it would be helpful with my current plans for the game levels that also feed into the story because I have two more advanced enemies already written but um, I don't see them matching this point in the level progression. So I think in this session, I'm, I'm instead of making a new level, I'm going to make a new enemy. And I think I can do it tonight in the next two to three hours. I don't think it'll be that hard. Uh, mainly because I already have code written. Oh, okay. There, let's just do it. Create a little battlefield to test this out on. some walls in there so you can run around and fling around
don't always want to have every enemy be activated by grass. I want to keep that to the beards. Um, in fact, I think most all the enemies. Oh, interested. Uh, what do you end up doing? I think I want there to be this idea that you can have a civilized enemy or an uncivilized enemy. And the civilized enemy cares deeply about rules, whereas the uh, the uncivilized enemy just is like a beast or something, a creature that just has a natural animosity towards you. Okay. Oh, that's a good way to do it. You just get get a dump all at one time. Um, and the nice thing is, it you know if if you're lucky, the group of people that have access to all that royalty free stuff um, over a little bit of time will fall off. You know, like like if they get a bunch of tracks together and they sell them, but they don't continue to keep them for sale, then you're unlikely to have like other people with other games with the same music as you. That may not be a concern of yours, but I always thought it was a nice bonus when you could get that that kind of situation. Uh, sounds like a, a nice nice find. Gotta be blocks too. All right. I was gonna say, uh, uh, you know, show a link to the to the music, but don't don't do that. Don't do that because then more people will know about it. And uh, could dilute the uh, quality of your music in some ways. It's like fishing holes. You don't want to tell everyone where the fishing hole is. That might be a very uh, U.S. centric reference. I don't know. the old behavior is still working good. I'll just throw some bystanders down there. Actually, here, let's go a step further. Oh, I don't know what I just did. I did a duplicate, but what did I duplicate? Oh, dang it. It duplicated the whole creature's directory. Okay, don't do that. Yeah. Hmm, I got you. So let's call this one, uh, I don't know, what's a good, good name for something that just chucks blocks here. I'll call it a chucker. I'll call it a chucker from now. I could, uh, Esoc to make me some more character models. 
So uh, activity, I'll say all blocks work for the moment. And now what Is the thing that's bothering you? Do pre-process work or not? No, error. Okay. What needs unpacking? One that I missed. That's what it was. This guy's got hit by blocks. And then now they're afraid of me. They went into their fearful mode, but I didn't touch them. Alright, alright. So let's go. work yeah that's all fine uh, okay so pushing everything north anyways uh, that's the code for a different thing anyway so I'll just make new code for this other behavior Take a quick look. Da, da, da. Uh, but before I do that, I got to go to head mode so that I can look at my email.
So we will look at it together. Now I've got my email hidden away. All right, simple grid shader. Does it contain, okay, distance scale and grid shader shader. It does, it has the source code with it. Okay, good. Um, is it unlit? Reminds me of the witness. color, cell color, selected color. Yeah, I mean, the, the only trouble is with this is, is the part that you described that's missing from this shader is the part that I need to fix with my shader, uh, which is what you say, uh, where it makes a different color, that's can be, that can be where you read the color from your own texture sprite. That's exactly the part that I have to fix the bug in. Because right now it's pulling from the wrong location in the texture sprite. And I have, my brain hasn't wrapped around like exactly the correct way to get the UV, uh, not the UV, but the sampling from the texture at the right place. Um, It is free though. I mean, it's got like source code with it. So it's another perhaps useful reference point. Um, yeah, and I haven't given up on the tile shader. It's just, uh, uh, it, it, there's a, I don't know. I'll come back to it in some form. Da, da, uh. oh, that is kind of cool. Well, that's, well, that's kind of a cool effect. Oh yeah, cool. Uh, th thanks for sending that. It might end up being something that I, I reference as I try to fix the remaining part. Uh, let's see. Back to this guy. Uh, let me think what my plan is here.
pretty sure that's it. I don't. I can't even think of a better way to do it. Uh, except that no, it shouldn't be beard. Well, okay, the. Okay, I'm not done. It's called choking. Got my logic pieces, beard piece. Chucker piece. Don't need road stair direction because this is going to be an uncivilized creature. Don't care about these. 
Chuckers will just always be angry at the player. It's not going to worry about roads. Not going to worry about them falling either. No, it's useful to have them stop themselves from falling because then I can have them sort of confined to one area more easily. Okay. Oh, but let them walk on the grass. They don't care about grass. They're uncivilized. Though it does suggest to me at some point I might want to generalized behavior around them, like a, a property, a common property or attribute called is civilized. Uh, this seems pretty good though. Okay, what else did I say I had to do? I gotta go pee. Be right back. Fresh coffee. It's going to be time for fresh vodka soon enough. Okay, so. Da, da, da. Let's do that next. Uh, these chuckers, let's get rid of them.
green. to have some kind of air. Okay, so I just need uh, an event handler that doesn't do anything. use kill player because that's a more general statement it seems like you're gonna get a lot of links that have nothing to do with what you're asking about something to Henry to make him look different than uh, the beard. So maybe let's change his coloring a little bit. doesn't seem very different than the regular model. Uh, yeah, whatever. Whatever. I'll just tell all the play testers. It's different. It's not the same as the beard. Let's give them a warning. Actually, I would be better served to not put them all out at one time. Let's get rid of the extras. Okay.
think I was right the first time. Even though I have this very general purpose name of an activity, kill the player. I think what I really mean with this activity is not generally kill the player with the means available to you. I mean, uh, just move towards the player aggressively. I think that's all it is. So, I'll create a new activity. And I'll, just, I'll look through this and I'll see what's actually common to both. It'll take a little while to figure that out. Okay, the top level is up, up here. Find target block. I think I want this criteria. I think I just want them to be crazy block pushers. They definitely want to hit the player, and I don't think they care if other things are in the way either, including their own species. They're just maniacs. They just push blocks like crazy. Okay, so I won't worry about checking for that. Okay, just that, that's what I want. Also, I don't even know what that notification noise goes to. Got so many stupid things trying to notify me. There are various ways, like they all have some 
moral claim on me. What's well, trying to notify me? What the hell wants to notify me? Is it you? Stupid Photoshop, creative, Adobe, no, uh, sweet nonsense. Tell me you got new updates for your apps. I don't fucking care. It's so ridiculous. You go to a website and it, the first thing it, it shows is allow push notifications. No, no, don't even ask me. And fuck you for asking. <laughs> We're both curmudgeons, I guess. already there okay so then to that towards the pushing square and move to it I guess I don't need blocks here H so I'll take that out Find contact square seems like it's missing. Uh... No, no, that's right. First you go to the block, then you figure out which way you're going to push it. Okay. Find, okay, fine. Next adjacent square. Best, where's best push CRH? Okay, it was up here. Best push CRH is right there. Okay. Um, direction where is that coming from set push direction This will not be static. This will not be used. Uh, fact. Yank that out entirely. gonna what's it gonna do okay so I want to calculate my push direction here for each one of these blocks okay so push direction goes
Or actually, I can say more general, generally. Find direction towards target. Type in a variable that I will define later, please. Just don't auto correct it. Okay. to push either north, south, or west, east, it'll depend upon which distance is greater. That might be it. I know I, I will, will have forgotten something or introduced bugs, but that, that might be it. Okay, I'll make sure that works before I start with the refactoring. Checking. 
Chuck. Good. Hmm. I always forget this. Board loader. Confident with my maximize on play. Did I, I didn't do a pre process, I bet. No? Hold on. Build the solution. Also missing uh yeah okay this guy here yeah this is this that's what I forgot trucking stay in the alphabetical order Try it again. Assertion failed right away. Oh, yeah, the spoiler is too. Okay. This was not my best design. I would have done it differently starting over. I still might do it differently. So my idea was to have a pool of particle explosion effects pre-allocated for every um, enemy and uh, and then I would say, well, well, how many do I need? Well, I need one for each enemy or creature that I find in the level. And I patted myself on the back for being clever about that. That you know, but of course, that's the exact number you need. You need one explosion, pre-made, ready and loaded, to be shown as needed for each one of the creatures. <laughs> a little bit later it occurred to me, well, I could have just added that same explosion game object into the prefab itself, and it would just be sitting there, and that would accomplish exactly the same thing. There's pooling, it would have been more elegant, but this code does work. It's not particularly uh, non-performant. I don't see a reason to, to depart from it now. I did depart from it for the blocks which have their own explosion and that one I just put put the explosion game object inside each prefab. Now that made more sense but I already got the pattern here so I don't want to mess with it. Uh, okay main object.
Also, why am I doing blocks? Why am I doing block exploder? Is this actually used anywhere? I don't think that's right. Huh. To do. Is this used by anything? Tracker count. Cool. Yeah. All right. Then go to main object. Or the main game object for the whole friggin' level. Let's go find the other prefab for the exploders. Level. So work. Let's try it. I don't see that dude doing anything. Well, at least it started with no errors. What's up with that? Um, okay, it's got the right activity. Uh, set the debugger. Fickle move to. Where are you trying to move to? Seventeen, twenty four, three. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Why didn't... Oh, fickle move to, as opposed to move to. Got it. Okay, no problem. Fickle move to means you give up if you get blocked and you look for something else to do. All right, let's do a fickle move to. Oh, yeah, I always hate it when I do that. Unplay. I think I've got okay, I've got simple beeline, but that'll not give up like fickle will. So let's add another option for that. Okay, is it safe to stream?
Okay. Uh, let me complete my thought, and I will definitely take a look. Okay, now the dude is doing stuff. That's good. I think I've got the directions reversed. So he should be pushing in the opposite direction, but he does seem to be yeah, he's got he's got those going well. Yeah, <laughs> this is gonna work. Okay. So now let's go fix that one little bug. tangle with this guy for just a little bit. I'm going to check out this shade or madness you're trying to pull me into. <sighs> I like it. He's passive aggressive, you know. Well, he's aggressive, but he's like He doesn't run towards me, which is great. He runs towards blocks to throw at me. That's all he cares about is just throwing blocks at me. Alright, now he's stuck for some reason. I don't know why. No, no, he found something else. Oh, he's out of blocks that could be pushed towards me. Go down here, then he, yeah, then he wants that one. So this is the kind of thing where if I design the level well, um, he'll seem to be pretty intelligent. Yeah, this, this might be fun. You just give him just a ton of blocks all in one spot. He's got a gun, you know, he's just firing blocks at you. It plays pretty well. All right, let's check out the shader stuff. I'm going to go off to Dropbox, check it out. Yeah, it's a different type of enemy. I like it. Oh. Uh, Dropbox, I'm so done with you.
Okay, so you got you got your game object. That's cool. Okay, grid size, line size. This is this is your source texture over here. Um, Yeah. 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 Well, that's cool. Um Yeah, I don't know if I can gather any insights from it, but uh, maybe. The, I mean, the, yeah. Hmm. Well, very nice. Uh, Yeah, well, I mean, uh, th thank you. I, I feel like right at the moment, I can't think about it too much. Um, but it's encouraging to, to see you've made some progress. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so the only thing I'm struggling with at the moment is just trying to, um, to I, I'm, I'm trying to be respectful of like this accomplishment, but then I, at the same time, I'm like not wanting to switch totally into that thought mode at the moment. Um, uh, let, let's, let's get into it a little bit later, I think. Um, yeah, you know, when the right time is to, to conquer the shader thing. For me, it's going to be that, that two-week break that is coming up at the end of the month. I think that's when I'm going to dig back into it. Uh, it'd be interesting to compare notes. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So let me, let me throw a few more of these guys down here to see what they get up to. Also, I think if there's more spikes, then they'll destroy the blocks. Kill it, kill it, gotta kill it.
So I'm simultaneously looking for problems with the AI and figuring out what's fun about it and what makes a good level design. Uh, Let's see. Oh, I'm glad it's the weekend. Man. This makes me happy to think of all the time I got in front of me, it's all mine. Just try that on for size. Oh, except I didn't make a way to get down from here. Oh, that works. And he'll walk right into the spikes. No, he didn't. There he did. <laughs> guy is stuck but I think he's stuck for uh, I should give him like a uh, eggs so that can be born when they die when they kill themselves Get these away from the spikes so they can walk around them. Yeah, I guess this is also an exercise in can I level design so that the limitations of their AI are not apparent? That's true. That's exactly right. Um, I mean, this is kind of a junk level. I'm just testing things out. But uh, yeah. That is right. Let's see. Well, just so, because it's likely to happen while I'm testing. Let me just delete these spikes. I don't think, I don't think they're that important. Now you reminded me of like an annoying thing that'll happen while I'm testing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's that's uh, that's useful. Thank you. Okay, predictability. So this guy should not block south. This guy should not get east. This guy should not get west. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, there I did it. They're all gonna get stuck up top. They're all stuck up top. <sighs> stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Yeah, it's it gets chaotic quick. Um, it's not necessarily a good thing to have all that unpredictability. So let me, I'll play with that just a little bit more, see if it's still fun. Then I might try some other ideas. I think it's okay, but like I watched some chaos levels, there's a limit to how many I, I want to have. Um, I'll just put a few of these, just to remind me not to step close to that egg, and that'll, that'll be fine. I don't know why, why this guy's waiting around. Dang it. What's with you guys? What are you trying to do? I bet, oh, I bet it's giving them targets in this direction and it's it's doing the fickle move where it stops going because something's blocking it it just gives up on, on trying to go there because uh, the eggs in the way but it again picks that same target to go to again because it's closest The question is, do I want to enhance the AI or do I want to level design around the AI? I don't really want pathfinding. So maybe it's it's like uh, pick the closest block that you've got an unobstructed path to. Still, I would think they would go to this one. So my theory might be wrong. All right, let's take it back down to one. So if I get in a situation where I'm confused about their behavior, I can go in the debugger and it will just be the same instance of them that I'm looking at. Uh,
level where the player needs to place blocks to keep NBCs from killing themselves till all eternity. Yeah, I can see that. Save the lemons. <laughs> yes. Hmm. He was going to push it, but then he decided, nah, it's not. doesn't seem fun. He went off to a different one. Okay. That's where the other ones. Oh, okay, never mind. There aren't any other ones. I, I d deleted them. Okay. So he's got an infinite supply there because they keep on coming back. That's not bad. So if I put just one stack of blocks. Uh, and kind of station a guy there and, and there's there's like uh, spikes at every way that it would go you should just kind of stick there like a machine gun turret like over here oh no he's just continuing to punch the same way I thought he'd change his position That's the end of you. I don't know, I'm gonna have to think on this guy a little bit. I'll have to do a lot of playing with him. Uh, I'm tempted to go and fix bugs, but I, I don't want to just fix bugs for the current behavior. I want to figure out what is the behavior I want. It's pretty close to what I want right now. Let me play with it a little bit more. to the nearest block push it in the direction of player okay so it's going that way Okay, I'll make a puzzle. Or I'll make a challenge for myself anyways. Uh, also, just to get rid of the stupid problem of eggs, let's put this up here. And we'll only go 
move west. And I'll take So he'll just come out there and drop down. I don't have to worry about the egg thing. Okay, then let's get rid of some of these blocks. So my goal here is just to make some kind of puzzle that relies on his behavior to be predictable. Yeah, let's get rid of most of the blocks. So yeah, most of the block paths we'll get rid of too. So I'm picturing a thing where uh, I won't bother to make it exactly like this in this level, but where I can't get to the area that he is inside of, but I want him to uh, knock a block out for me. So I lead him around basically. So let's see, I want him to knock the block that way. I want him to knock it this way, then this way. that way and then down over here um, I will also need some catch points for my own flinging now oh, I hate it when you do that Goals to get it here.
Okay, my placement was off, but uh, basically it works. Um, not bad, not bad. There he gives up. I think I understand why. All right. Maybe it's because the square that he wants to push from is down here. If that's true, then if I move to a different location... Yeah, okay, as soon as I move east of the nearest block to him, that means that his target square becomes here and he'll go towards it. <laughs> he's, he's standing on the square so the block won't come back. All right. Okay, let me try a different design, which is the machine gun turret. That one, I just need two or more blocks. He'll never be able to clear it. The problem is, I think he's going to stay in that one spot and keep on going in one direction. I wanted him to switch, but I don't think he ever will. With the current AI. Oh, wait a minute. He has to... Okay, he continues going to the block after it's been destroyed, or the location of where the block used to be. He'll arrive at that location, and then he'll say, oh, it's not there. And then he'll pick a new location. Here's where I was wanting the machine gun behavior. I was hoping he would switch sides when I came down here. Okay, so let me just make note.
pickups. DZ, the real digital zombie. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go off stream now. Stop the stream. Uh, I'll be back on tomorrow if you're interested in joining. <clears throat> but uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, have, have a nice, uh, have a nice night. I guess it's probably pretty, pretty late over there, or reasonably late. <clears throat> I'll see you later. Oh, stop the stream! Stop the stream!